What's this? A weekday stream? That's not going to mean anything to YouTube, but, uh, yeah. Hi. I'm here on a Tuesday. Because, currently, my bus schedule allows for some time in the midday. And I'm kind of out of games to play, so I just... I, I wanted to play more of this. I wanted to play more Wind Waker Randomized that you can hear but not see right now. Dolphin? Where you at? There it is. Alright. Oh, that's right. I switched to, uh... So the previous stream ended with me having controller issues. And I had to end it with a my regular PC controller. The Xbox. Which normally I like to use original... GameCube controllers for, uh, Dolphin. I am back to doing so. Uh, my GameCube controller just finally bit it. It was having trouble with, uh, on the Switch as well. I use it for Smash. Fortunately, I had a spare. So, I am using a different GameCube controller currently. And when this one bites it, I guess I'm out of luck, because they don't make these anymore. Yes, I know, you're you're very antsy, Ganon. Uh, so what do we have? We have a number of items. We saved Granny, got uh, Ga Ganon Grandma's soup. We have most of the songs. Uh, several inventory items. I started with all the Triforce pieces. We're still only one of the, uh, one of the progression items we need, though. Because we need all of the progressive swords and all the progressive bows. All the progressive uh, arrows. So where can we go? What can we do? We can go to the Earth Temple. Which is probably my best lead right now. I'm not quite sure where else to go. I believe it's on Stone Watcher Island? Gale Isle, I can't do because I don't have the hammer yet. Stone Watcher, I'm pretty sure I just need the, uh, I just need the gauntlets. So let's see what what we can do in the uh, in the temple. Boy, a night music option would be nice for this randomizer. I think both of the uh, 64 games have that option. Because otherwise, it's just, this is kind of what Zelda games do. You just have dead quiet during the night cycles. Now, it says there's only one item in the uh, Earth Temple that we can get. However, I think that might be a key. Like a small key to access the rest of the, t of the dungeon. Birds? No, they're the little, uh, they're the bug enemies. I think. Yeah! Hold on, have I been here before? No, okay, Stonewatcher Island isn't a temple. So where's the, I must be misremembering, where's the entrance to the, uh, I forgot where the entrance to the Earth Temple is. 
Well, I see a couple spots nearby, so I'll just go there for now. Hey, Darian. Do you remember where to where the Earth Temple access point is? I remember one of the temples you need the iron boots and the hammer for. And the other one, I thought you needed the, the gauntlets for. Okay, Southern Fairy Island. Last time I was here, I was not able to destroy the cannons on the lookout platforms. Western Fairy Island. That's where you go into a temple? Climb, Ganon. I wonder what else the cannons are vulnerable to on a technical standpoint. Like, if I could get close enough to them, could I destroy them with the hook shot? I wonder if there's any chance of an enemy randomizer in this at some point. It might... I, th I think it might exist for Ocarina. It's a beta feature in the Majora randomizer. Hello. Uh, do I need to glide to that? I might. Also, levels sound good. I think the uh, other audio has been a little bit louder than me in recent streams, so trying to mitigate that. Can get the cannons to destroy each other. Those are taken care of. Uh, I can just swim. I can swim, that's fine. Uh, the Majora's Mask one is actually an actorizer, which means it is able to scramble pretty much every animated or interactable object in the game. Which includes, I'd like, all NPCs. It includes things like torches. Whoops. It includes the bell above the inn. I think I saw someone get uh, the bell in place of Guru Guru. So the, the bell was just sitting there in the, uh, in the laundry pool. With music playing. Game could still be turned down a little bit. All right. I'm gonna take just a second to double check on my end. I'm gonna take just a second to double check on my end. With the uh, triple echo. How many Mies can we go up to? With the uh, triple echo, how many Mies can we go up to? Quadruple. Can we get quintuple? Quadruple. 
All right. So that spawned back on the... I need to go back to that platform again, right? Oh, that's right. Now that I have double magic, I can do the, uh... Yeah, piece of heart. Nothing out here. I can do the, the gliding minigame. Which I'm not a fan of, but it is a check. Alright, check off both of those. Diamond Step Island. That has some stuff. I still need to find a bigger wallet before I can go to the, uh, the Super Beetle shop. Also, this tracker doesn't have any option to keep track of hearts, so I guess there just must not be anything locked behind hearts in this game. Uh-oh! Do I bomb or do I hookshot? I'll go with bombs. Bombs do the most damage. They one-shot the eye, I just have to hit it. I don't actually know if Hookshot will reach unless I'm, like, right on top of him. There we go. Is this Diamond Step Island? Is this the Big Octo? Because it says, oh, I can't get this because I don't have the grappling hook yet. Man. What a waste. Okay, maybe. No, I was going to say maybe I'll get the grappling hook on this island, but uh, the items are inside a cave, so the thing would respawn as soon as I came back out. No, look up. No, I don't want to do that. Whoops. have another Jackbox video ready from the previous two Jackbox streams. But I might wait to put it up because I don't know if I want uh, I want two Jackbox highlights back to back. There's a cave. Oh, there's a cave here. There it is. What are you doing? Ganon, please. The 
grappling hook would allow for all of the big octos. It wouldn't be particularly fun to fight with just bombs, but uh, it would be possible. Oh, this place. Where's the sticks? Oh, hello. No. So, they're green now. I also am not entirely sure how to effectively fight these guys without arrows. No, oh, hit hands. Yeah. I could try hookshot. Hookshot damage damage them. I hope it doesn't just pull me to it. No! Hit! Thing! And I, it just pulls me to it. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Okay. I didn't actually know that command existed. Logically, I should be able to burn this whole place down. Just saying. Alright, first chest. Silver rupee. Where's my grappling hook? Where's my better sword? Oh, and you're back. Hello, friend. Oh, there's more of you. They have so much health in this. Was it really necessary to make them just this obnoxious? They won't respawn, I think. All right, try the closest one first. Damn it. I should probably know which of these go where by now. Yeah. 
Oh no, they do respawn. What? Why you gotta do that? It's just guess and check. This is not good. This is not good game design. I'm gonna make a bold statement. I would wager there's not a lot of people who, uh, who think this is their favorite part of Wind Waker. Alright, progress. I got another one of these guys. Like, the fight with them also... It distracts me from remembering which one I came out of. Thankfully, I think they're all sealed. Yeah, all but the, all but the one are sealed, so... Just gotta check them in order. me. Climb. Ganon, please. Okay, second chest. Here we go. It's a Triforce chart. Okay, nothing here. Big ol' waste of Ganon's time. Where's my boat? What else is around here? Five Eye Reef. Oh, I can destroy the cannons, whereas I must not have had bombs last time. Don't want to fight the squid again. Would like to avoid that. I'm probably going to go right into it, though. Okay. No, we dodged it. Oh, there's a lot of cannons here. Why are they all in twos? They get they have a buddy system. Well, most of them. How many more we got? Just 
these guys. There we go. Alright. Now the best part of every one of these islands. The long walk around the uh, perimeter. Got any bombs? I could use some. There we go. Alright, now what's the best way to that center island? It looks like it might actually be this one. Might be close. Oh, come on, please make it. There we go. Hey! Uh, what? Hmm. Quiver upgrade. Which is not progressive, as I mentioned, so that doesn't do me any good until I have the actual bow. I'll have 60 arrows once I find the bow, so I that, that'll be nice. Same for bomb bags. I can find the uh, bomb size upgrades before I find the actual bomb bags. That one, I'm not sure why it's not progressive. Like, there's a reason for the arrows. Not really so much for the bombs. There's still that chest at Great Fish Isle that I guess we can get to. Probably need more magic, though. Uh, Islet of Steel has a lookout platform. Somewhere. There it is. Why didn't I get this last time? Did I not have a sword? Oh, I didn't have the hook shot. This, there must be, uh, like, wizards up here. Yep. Pots deal more damage. I, could, I probably could have beat, beaten these guys with just like the pots and things, but you know what? I, I probably didn't have a sword last time, and I spent the pot. I would have had to spend the pots on the uh, on the Bokoblins. What are you? Come on, grappling hook. Ah, great. Nothing. 
I it is. I, I think that gives me enough to uh, talk to Orca. Hello, Nava. I think I have enough spoils for an Orca check and for one of the uh, the school teacher. You know what? Let's go visit Orca. Let's go to Outset. Parsec or Dolphin? Uh, Parsec is not an emulator. It's a program that lets you... Uh, it lets you connect to someone else's computer and view their screen. So people who use it for uh, Smash Ultimate, they have a Switch emulator, and then they use Parsec so someone would connect to their... Co connect to their screen. This is, this is just Dolphin, is all it is. How, how are you doing, Ganon? I'm doing fine, Grandma. I'm actually right outside. I don't think the mail items are scrambled, so those, those are all just going to be junk. Yes, teach me the way of the sword. Do I need to do his thing before he'll accept the Knight's Crest? I don't remember. No, I don't want to... No. Hit me. I don't want to do it a hundred times. Come on, I can take it. Okay. No, I, I didn't want to sword fight you. I actually, I have a thing for you. Let me get my thing out. Yeah, I got ten nice crests. This isn't in logic. I think you need the grappling hook before it uh, requires spoils items. Now he's going to teach me the uh, spin that I already know. It's a tough old man. Ah, piece of heart. All right. Alright. Another junk item. That's fine. Now we know. What was the other thing? Uh, spoils. I actually do not have enough. I think I need 20 or 40 joy pendants. Where's my boat? Imagine doing that in Smash Brothers. Boy, the FAF on that move would be atrocious. I mean, he has it. He has the grounded spin attack, Toon Link. Unless you mean Ganon, in which case, it can only be an improvement. To allow movement during grounded spin attack. I don't I don't think I really control the movement in this game. He just kind of goes in a wild circle and then he's dizzy for like a full second afterwards. Is this where the temple is? No. Okay, here, I'll press no buttons. Just let go of B. Okay. Now, I guess I do... I guess I do control. He, he just forces himself forward, is what happens. 
Alright, just make way, get rid of that. Alright, yeah, this is the, uh... Is this the Earth Temple? Or is this the Wind Temple? Hello? I think, yeah, this is the Earth Temple. Temple. The only way I can remember is because of how little sense it makes that Medley, the, uh, the bird girl, is not the Wind Temple. You know, the, the character capable of flight? No, that's the plant. The plant is the Wind Temple. Whoops. Come here. Psst. Idiot. There are so few rooms in the game where you can actually use this weapon. Even this one, there's just stuff scattered all over the place. It'll just, it'll smack into walls. Does a lot of damage, though. It's great if you got the space for it. This child just live a, lift a 10-ton rock casually. What do you mean, child? This is Ganondorf. I'm here to uh, dry up the Great Sea and free Hyrule. an invisible chest in this room. I believe I just need to step on both of those. I also need to activate this pot. I think I got bombs for that. Another weird thing about the Earth Temple, what is with this didgeridoo music? game full of Zelda dungeons, but they're based on, uh, they're based on different game franchises. This sounds like it would be the music for the Crash Bandicoot Temple. Am I forgetting something? I can't fly over there with her, because I won't gain enough height from that. No, I can. Okay. We're good. We're fine. What's the, uh... What's the command... The hip weird hypnosis fetish song? Command melody. Okay. Fly. Fly. Flappy medley. I forgot I had to mash it. <laughs> Invisible ch a transparent chest in warp pot room. It says there's a chest in here. I assume this this is the first warp pot room. Could it be a later one? Huh? 
I guess we'll keep going. We're probably going to hit a, uh... Well, this would be the room. Yeah, it must be this one. Okay, it's just the room with the... Why is there a warp pot? Okay, I know why. So this is the first, like, uh... Vanilla warp pot. The one that we just saw is one of the, uh... Custom ones that the randomizer adds to let you move between dungeons. Oh, I did something while I was playing my song. Go that and hold that there. Oh, I don't have the uh, I don't have the hammer, so I can't actually destroy them. I don't know if bombs work. All right. Earth Temple Compass. So we might actually be stuck until. What do I need? Okay, I need the hammer to destroy them to then open the door. Yeah. Wait, no, that destroys them, doesn't it? I should need the hammer. Does the tracker not know that I can do this? I don't think the tracker knew that I could destroy those without a hammer. Alright, well, onward, I guess. This is a bit tedious. I'm not crazy about the escort dungeons in this game. They would be better if it wasn't a song that you had to use to activate these. No! Oh! Which is the same for the water temple in Ocarina. A lot of the frustration just comes from it being tedious. The way you have to, uh, the way you have to go into your menu and change boots all the time in the original game. Something which was uh, thankfully alleviated in the 3DS remake. Okay. No, the tracker was right. I, uh... I could get through that room, but I can't do anything in here until I have the mirror shield or the hammer. So, uh... Just wait here. I'll be back. Eventually. She doesn't die. Inside the poison cloud. There was a switch, but I need the hammer for that switch. So I now need to find the hammer somewhere in order to be able to continue this dungeon. Well, I found the Earth Temple. I don't know what Darian was saying about the Fairy Island. I didn't think it'd be there. Alright, Headstone Island. There's a submarine around here. Maybe we'll get super lucky. Maybe this submarine floating just offshore will have the hammer. I mean, just offshore. Where, where is the submarine? Probably top left. Ah, 
I took a gamble. I didn't remember the, uh, the dungeon layout, so I figured maybe the first obstacle would be a key door, and the one chest that I had access to would be a small key. That was my hope. I don't actually like Zelda dungeons, so, uh... It'd be great if I didn't have to do any of them. Oh boy. Is, the, is that all this room is? Just bombs and rats? This is the- this is the Tom and Jerry room. This is also one of the very few Zelda games where hitting a bomb with your sword sets it off. You would think that would be, like, the standard. Also, I think they're recolored a little bit. All, all the enemies are recolored in this. I hope I'm doing what I'm supposed to and they don't just spawn infinitely. My exit's sealed off, so I assume that has to be the case. Over here. Oh, they can pick up the items on the ground. I forgot about that. Alright. Show me a treasure chart. Blue rupee. Oh, picked a box. Okay. Great, that's a progression item. That actually unlocks a, a, a number of checks, especially on, uh, on what's it, not outset, on uh, Kakariko Island. Windf Windfall, that's the place. There's a lot of stuff here at the south of the map that I just, I couldn't do the last time I was here. I will be happy to uh, be all done with these stupid die islands. I don't like going to these places. I wonder what his upgraded swords are gonna be. I hope his fully awakened sword is, uh, is the one from Smash. The N64 beta sword. That'd be neat. Hello. Now it says destroy the cannons and gunboats. I don't know if it included that one on the outside. I think we're so prepared for that blue rupee. Oh, I'm expecting them now. Stop moving! You're in a boat. You shouldn't know how to play like a cover shooter. It's kiting me. A, a boat. There we go. This is one of those times that the uh, swift sail can be a, a bit of a hindrance. No, move. Get up and move.
It is definitely possible to go too fast. Is that it? such a long contemplative walk like you have time to look at the at the things you've destroyed and really think about it hi right, man I bet there were people whose livelihoods depended on these cannons maybe probably not but well I got plenty of time to think about it walking around this island piece of heart. We knew what this was. We knew this was going to be a while. This is Wind Waker. This is not a, this is not a short game. Grappling hook are probably the best items that I could get right now. Hammer would be nice. Let's see, boating course. I don't remember if the boating course it's I don't think the boating course itself has an item. It's just for uh rupees. However, there's a cave there. You're not the boating course, you're Minecraft Island. No big octo. I think this is where the Great Fairy Big Octo was. I think I already got it. Where's the boating course? Oh. Cave, where are you at? I got to float across. Actually, can't I just... Yeah, I can just grab those. I don't need to float. Floating's dumb. If I can avoid having to change the wind direction by playing a song, I will gladly do so. Oh, it's this cave. Is it just these guys? Is that all that's in here? They're just fans of his. They can't stop saying Ganon over and over again.
love that yell. What a, what a combat impractical move. Like, you're never gonna get a chance to use that in the very few places it might actually be useful. Oh, I have to activate switches. Do I have to... Hold on. Cave. Deku Leaf or Hookshot. Hero Sword or Bombs. I don't have to activate them in, like, quick succession, like with the boomerang, do I? Because I ain't got the boomerang. succession like each one just uh, deactivates the spawns or not no they'll just keep spawning all right bait bag it's not the best item but it opens some stuff do I have any bait I feel like I bought some I bought one pair or I found one pair I don't think I was actually able to buy bait before now because of the lack of said bag. Where's my boat? What's next? I could go back to some earlier islands, because now I can do things there with the uh, Hyoi pair. However, I'd rather not. I can get two items at Cliff Plateau. I think one of which is the pair. Is this the island? This doesn't look that cliffy. Only barely plateau-y. I guess that's it. Yeah, I, th I think I've been here. But I didn't have a sword yet, so the cave was not uh, easily doable. It's possible some, like, really good item like the grappling hook was here this entire time. And I just didn't know the tracker intended way to, uh, to get it. Is 
Because it said I was able to kill kill these uh, these Deku flowers with nothing. But boy, if I if I didn't try. All right, here we go. Oh, that's right. This, on its own, is very unintuitive. You can bring a flaming stick into one of these flowers, and it's fine. It doesn't burn the thing up. You can also climb ledges with it. Kind of weird. <laughs> Alright, so this, I assume, is the cave chest. Piece of heart. No, this should be the highest aisle. There's two chests. One is cave and one's highest aisle. Well, that is both the end of the cave and also the highest aisle. Did I did I just blind? Maybe there was an uh there maybe there was another chest in the cave that I just didn't see. Oh, I what maybe I think I remember. I think it was in the middle of a ring of uh a ring of vines. I have to kill the flowers again, but oh well. Get some uh, worthless rupees. Yeah, that guy right there. Why is are they wiggling their tongue and attack? Why does that damage me? Where's the chest? Is it below me? Yeah, it is. Boy, it's a good thing those vines vanished. If they didn't, I'd just be trapped here forever. Two junk items. Bird's Peak Rock has a cave. Imagine how much slower this would go without the swift sail. Having to play the song to change the wind every time. And also going at normal sail speed. Oh, that'd be awful. Alright, it says there's a cave here. And if I remember correctly... I need to use the Hyoi pair to hit a switch to open the cave entrance, is how this works. I can't just hookshot up there, can I? No. Well, I can... Grapple? Hookshot won't grab that, will it? 
Now, for some reason, it will not. All right. Well, let me get my pair, my pair out. My one pair. Boy, I hope I don't miss. Oh, it's not just one. I have to like a, ser a series of switches, don't I? Also glad that that tree didn't like deactivate it. Hey, bird, get out of the way. Move, bird, get out the way. Why did that not activate? I don't have to do these in a certain order, do I? I hope not. That would kind of suck. Hit the thing. Yes! Alright. I now don't care what happens to the seagull. The seagull got eaten. That's fine. It's nature. Uh, yes. I am streaming to Twitch and YouTube at the same time using Restream.io. It's a service that lets you multi-stream without taking a hit to your, uh, your system's resources. Alright, give me something good. I'm not gonna be happy with the bloopy this time. I have high expectations. Alright. Earth got- well. That doesn't help us immediately, but it's good to have. It is a pro excuse me, a progression item. Do you think I should do that for our JMUs? If you want. I know uh, some people have issues with Twitch. Some have issues with YouTube. In terms of them, like, working on their systems. Uh, Darian. I don't know if he's still here, but he uh, had, a, for a long time, just was not able to watch on Twitch. So, me streaming to YouTube was the only way he was able to watch the streams. Let's see, Private Oasis. I need to find another beetle. I need to get some more, uh, more bait. When I stream JMU, uh, Crew Battles, I, uh, I do broadcast to both. I haven't paid attention to how many are on Twitch and how many are on YouTube. I think it's mostly Twitch. You're not Beetle, are you? No, you're a submarine. I should probably do the flight control platform while I'm at full magic. Twitch does lock at uh, whatever the stream's original resolution is. As I understand it, they uh, allow down. They have downscaling, but it's on a basis of like not everybody gets it. It depends on how busy Twitch is at the time and how much uh, free CPU or wh whatever is it is on their end. Free how much bandwidth they have to uh, dish out. the lower quality broadcasts. Twitch does allow 1080p. I think I stream in 720p, but I record in 1080p. Just to save on bandwidth. I don't remember offhand. I mean, you, you tell me. It'll say at the bottom whether I'm in uh, 1080p or not. Nintendo only does 1080p. Well, it will... OBS will downscale. 
Like, yes, the Switch is a 1080p resolution system, but the stream is determined by whatever you have OBS set to. Or whatever your streaming program is. And it's almost impossible to get, like, really good, clean Smash footage on stream. Just because of the bandwidth required to do so. Specifically, the, uh, the, uh, bitrate. I have it set to automatic. The canvas size? Because I don't think it works that way. Oh, I guess I could have come here at any time. I think they have jars of magic at, like, the start of the of this minigame. My system can handle 4K resolution bit rates. It's not really about the system, it's about the internet connection, the bandwidth. Let's see how we can do this. I feel like there's a certain timing. Like, there's definitely a certain timing. I just don't remember what it is. Then again, it's 10 rupees, so... Come on, come back. Yes! Uh oh, I missed one. Maybe I can still make it. I believe there's a trick where if you have your sword out, you can do a jump attack to close some final bit of distance. I think I might make it just first try, though. Oh! Guess I'll spend another ten rupees. I guess I should be watching the, uh, the closest wind turbine, whatever they're called, updraft. And I missed it. That's not good. Uh-oh. Come back, please. I'm gonna go again. Well, it'd be a dick move if they didn't charge your magic before this. I I must be thinking of that one, uh... That one, uh, lookout platform that we did, I think, last stream. 
All right, let me let me aim for when it starts going left. I don't think that's the strategy. I think I did exactly the opposite of what I needed. Yeah. All right. I need one that's left and it starts moving right. At least we finally have something to spend rupees on. It's going to go back left, and it's going to come back to me, just in time for me to catch it. I have to go pretty straight in order to make it to, uh... Oh, no! Ah! It was a little late. You know we're doing all of this for 20 rupees, too. That's gonna be the prize. Or it's gonna be a- it's gonna be a, a tingle statue. Right, where exactly does it turn? Not- not- just before it goes behind the, uh, the wooden pole. Probably started that a little bit early. The leaf. All right, come back. You have to go pretty, pretty straight in order to make it all the way to the, uh, all the way to the end. If I can catch one more updraft, that would be great. I don't know if I'm going to. Come back. Yes. Yes. Make it! Ganon, you can fly! You've always wanted to! Uh, I didn't do it fast enough. Oh, wait, no, I did! Ganon flew! He has a recovery! Great, thanks! God damn it. There's a couple things we can do on Dragon Roost. Supposedly, I'm out of magic again. I still don't know for sure how to get the chest on top of the boulder with uh, just what I have. And I also still don't know for sure how to get the male guy. Maybe I shouldn't be here yet. Oh, Beetle. I need to buy bait from him. <laughs> Beetle, please. Get up. Again, please. Actually, I have very little reason to get normal bait. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
I don't remember if I have any reason to get normal bait. I think I can use it to like trade with rats in some places or something, but it's kind it's kind of just mainly used for the the fish filling out the map, which I already I start with, so. Is there, like, a ledge above that I can get to that from? No, there wouldn't be. I already tried the hook shot. The hook shot won't reach it. What does it say? Just on top of boulder. Bait. Oh. Well, I don't know what it thinks I can do with bombs to get that, but I do have another method that I can use. This is a very unfortunate stream to be a seagull. It's like the end of Wreck-It Ralph. He knows what's coming, but he can't stop himself. Oh no, it flew off. It's fine. I can see its parachute. Piece of heart. I need some magic. Y'all got any magic? Whoop! I guess I have my elixir soup I could use. Wind Waker remake, but co-op. Uh, it's not a remake, but there is a Wind Waker split-screen mod. I found out about that recently. probably have to be in the same, like, zone together, so you can't, like, both explore the Great Sea separately. I think you share a boat. Still. Pretty cool. Is this where I need to glide to? Well, I don't have magic! I don't need to do this again, do I? Rito Eri Beto. Says required nothing. This is a lot of RNG, and I'm not getting good RNG. I got it. Or is it like more than 25? Do like a Ratchet Deadlock style co-op. That's something that's on our roster. We played the first, uh, we played the first three Ratchet and Clank games. And we're due to play Deadlocked. We just haven't gotten around to it yet, which we would do co-op since I've never, uh, I've never done that co-op before, and Jack and I would both be playing it. Give me magic! I find myself in this situation a lot in this game. Just needing magic. And not getting any. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I love the uh, I love the first four uh, Ratchet and Clanks. 
I used to consider Deadlocked my favorite. I think that has uh, faded over time to up your arsenal more. Just because I, mi I miss the platforming and the exploration too much in Deadlocked. I love the weapon system. If any, if the upgrades system were in any other Ratchet and Clank game, it'd be instant favorite. The weapons upgrading only improved over the course of the uh, course of the series. It also tried Deadlocked tried to be very. Uh, it kind of tried to be a Halo copycat, which you could immediately tell by the. Uh, I think the default control scheme was no longer the Ratchet and Clank platforming. It was more like a, uh, a, sh a sh shooter. What is this? Up. Over here? Oh, I see. Excuse me while I play a song, Mr. Bird. I should probably get some more magic, though. I don't want to fall off here. There you go. Magic, yes. That is a lot of, uh... That's a lot of apparent text for just an up arrow. Bit weird, isn't it? Get out of here, bird. Or come closer, even. I just, I don't want to run into you while I'm gliding. That bird's gonna run into me while I'm gliding. I know it is. Please make it. Please make it. Oh. I, I'm not... I, don't, I can't take any chances with this dumb bird. <sighs> don't like this little island. This magic right on the edge. Alright, where am I going? I'm going there. I see it. It's so close. Mind control those birds, if only. We made it. Oh, that was a lot of work for 20 rupees. I take it back! All right, we got a bow! You know what? Because this has confused me so long, I'm gonna look up. No, not Baton. Wind Waker Baito. I know who the character is, I just don't remember exactly what triggers him appearing. Alright, well that opens a bunch of stuff. I'm glad to have a bow. After Link- okay. So I don't technically need any items for him to appear, however, I do need to complete Dragon Roost Cavern. Hmm. But then, by the tracker's logic, I should require what is needed to beat Dragon Roost Cavern. I, d I don't know. I don't understand it. What are you? Oh. All right. Came out the island's butthole. Oh, I got 60 arrows. I got plenty of magic. That's a that's a boon. I am so glad we finally have the bow. We got the picto box. Yeah, we can't uh, we can't do the dungeon here without the grappling hook. 
here's the thing, though. This randomizer starts... It doesn't start after you beat Dragon Roost Cavern, specifically. But it starts after, like, Forsaken Fortress. I don't know exactly what the flags are like. So I'll just, uh, I guess we'll come back to him after we do the thing. Hopefully that guy isn't holding the grappling hook. Because otherwise we would have a puzzle to solve. Does Beetle sell mainline items? Not in the regular, the, not in the bait boats. Not in his standard boats. The Super Beetle, the, the Helmet Beetle. The one that sells expensive items. He that That's scrambled. However, in order to afford any of those, I need to find a wallet upgrade, so... What am I doing? I can just... I'm just going to Windfall is what I'm doing. There's a few more things that we can do there now that we have the, uh, the Picto Box. There's also, there's also the Flower Quest. I don't think we have to do that, though. I don't know why it's showing here, because as far as I am aware, that should be included in the long side quests that are not in this seed. Is this the color Picto Box? Where's the moon at? Oh, I think this is like a whole side quest. Hello, Lenzo. You got any chests? They're very lovely pictographs. That, that's what I want. How do I get in there again? There's two chests. I believe in this house. I, I gotta study my, uh... I gotta study the, ge the geometry, the geology, architecture. I gotta find out exactly where this door is. Okay, so it's in the same area as this, just up and to the left from where I'm facing. Oh, it's right, ab right above. I can just, like, glide there. What a weird place to have a door. I guess it's a balcony, but... I still can't see the moon, can I? No. I believe there's a reward for a picture of the full moon from this guy. What's a kid like you doing out at a time like this? I don't think the camera likes me being here. It's freaking out a little bit. I'm gonna rob Lenzo in the dead of the night. Get up there. Come on, climb. Yeah. 
Oh, uh oh. We're good. Do all my friends need to download Parsec to play Mario Party with me? Uh, if you're using Parsec for it, then yes. Everyone needs to download it, and then you would uh, like connect to each other's systems. Piece of heart. You're able to allow them uh, controller, keyboard, and or mouse. Whatever you set them to be able to, uh, to do on your system. So that's those two chests. Nothing good. I think I can spy from here? No, maybe not. Oh, hello. Aha! The scandal. There's a lot of obscure side quests here on Windfall. Do Xbox and PS4 controllers work? Uh, I think Darian used a PS4 controller for that recent Mario Party stream. According to him, Windows recently added support for uh, PS4 controllers. Xbox controllers definitely work, since that's, it's Microsoft. It's Windows natively supported. It comes down to the emulator you're using, though. We used uh, Project 64. Gossip. Here. Uh, check this out. Oh, hey! Why did you ladies have this? I won't ask questions. My naughty little boy found this somewhere. What, the, what was your naughty little boy trying to do? Was he also trying to rob Lenzo? Nah, I bet he was trying to get into the bomb shop. They needed rope to peek. I, I love the mental image of these two middle-aged women. Just wearing, like, spy get-ups and hanging from a rope to try to get juicy gossip on their neighbors. Grappling hook, grappling hook. How many is this gonna open? A lot! That opened a lot of stuff. Uh, oh, it could, because it opened all of the uh, spoils bag stuff. How many jelly do I have? Oh, I should have been getting more of this. I need 15 green jelly. 21 joy pendants, 40 joy pendants, 20 skull necklaces, almost. All right. So it's a bunch of spoil stuff on the, on Windfall. Paw print aisle. Scale the wall. Alright. We can do that. We can go rock climbing. I thought there was a reward for showing that guy a picture of the moon. Maybe there's not. Or maybe I need the color pictograph. I think there's a... Uh, I think the pictograph might be progressive.
Get up. Ganon, please. You're like eight feet tall. You can climb a ledge. Where, where am I climbing? I'll just follow the left wall. That's what I'll do. Oh. Well, that was fast. We gotta get out of here. This randomizer would also benefit from uh, music randomization. It's one of the best parts of the uh, Ocarina, and particularly Majora. Alright, Cabana Deed. That should open a couple things. No? I guess not. We must need something else to do the stuff at the cabana, in addition to the deed. Oh boy, where's the exit? Is it here? Yeah, it's here. I'm gonna carry this soup all the way to the end of the game and forget I have it. It's one of those inventory items that you just never end up using, because you're always saving it for something more important than whatever your current situation is. No, go. Ganon. No magic. None, none anywhere on this island. All right. Where are we? We're on Pawprint Isle. Dragon Roost. Give Hostkit 20 golden feathers. How many of those do I got? Five. Alright. Well, the entirety of Dragon Roost Cavern is now available. Windfall Island. Are there any other, like, spots with lots of things that I could do? Not really. Do I want to do a dungeon, is the question. Not really. However, it is where a lot of items are, so... I guess I'll go to Dragon Roost Cavern. Forbidden Woods now also fully accessible. This is where he would wander, right down here, is where Baito would be, were he uh, active. There's a Prince Koala waiting down there by the shore. Now we have to go through Dragon Roost to uh, save Medley, who is simultaneously in the Earth Temple. Don't question it. So we already came here once and we did a few things because there was some uh, some areas accessible without the grappling hook. Hmm. 
Nope, don't mind me. It's just, I'm back again. Now, if I remember correctly, that door was locked the first time. I, I, I gotta, like, piece together the way they intended for you to do this dungeon. Because I kind of did it out of order. Oh, I should kill these things for the jelly. Actually, I should grapple them, because then I'm guaranteed to get the jelly. I'm glad Majora got to introduce a lot of uh, enemies and things that would continue to be in the Zeldaverse. Despite not being a, like, premier Zelda game of its console. It's just kind of a weird thing to think about. There was a... That there was a Zelda sequel. Like, two games on the same console. Which, otherwise... I was just like, Zelda 2 and Majora's Mask, and that was it. Until now, Breath of the Wild is getting uh, Breath of the Wild 2. For a while there, it was just like, uh, one console, one Zelda game, though. Oh, well, they fell between consoles, but you know what I mean. I think there's a tingle chest around here, but, uh, I have those turned off. I haven't had a Mario sequel since Galaxy 2 as well, which I guess was the, you know, only two mainline Mario games ago, but I'm, I'm surprised they didn't do any DLC for Mario Odyssey. Seemed like it would be prime for it. They definitely make money. I need a stick. Where my sticks at? You got yeah, you got a stick. Thank you. The constant rumbling makes me feel as if the moon is going to fall. Except it's way less dire in this case. I mean, yeah, there's a dragon, like, having a tantrum on top of the volcano, but... You know, that's not as bad as the moon falling. Alright, small key. Chest across lava pit. Does this go outside? Yes, it does. found out last time that the effective strategy is actually not to combo, but just to do the single hit over and over again. You coming down, bird? No? Alright. What an unsettling noise they make. I, if that was the intent, then good job, I guess. I do have a bow and arrow that I can now use, but... Eh. I'm lazy. Alright, 
dark room. Don't think this is the dark room. Next item is the bird's nest, which I already got. Hello, bird. You know what? I need a feather from you. Hold still. Thank you. This room looks pretty dark. I don't need my sail out. I don't think I've ever used these pots. Maybe once or twice. And probably only in a randomizer. In the vanilla game, there's never really any reason to, like, leave a dungeon and then come back later. I appreciate that- I appreciate that they're there, I guess, because dungeons got pretty big in this game. Not as big as, uh, Twilight. I don't- did Twilight have any warp mechanics? It had the Uku. So this is the pot room. There's a chest in here somewhere. Someone worked hard on all these pots. Some potter. Chest. Chest. Okay, great. I got the Tingle Tuner. Now I can connect a Game Boy Advance to my dolphin. any in the pots on the shelves. That, that'd be dedication if they got into there. And it seems like they did. Or at least one did. Alright. There we go. Mini boss. No, not yet. Come here. Come this way.
A little early. A little late, rather. Oh, please don't respawn. It's gonna respawn, isn't it? Man. like the danger of lava is severely underrepresented underrepresented in video games. Probably goes without saying. I probably didn't have to say that. I find video game lava very unrealistic. Well, there's the boss, so I'll come back for that. in the red. Very sickly looking moblins in this iteration. Give me that. Oh, I couldn't get it in time. Getting it now. I'm using this, and you won't stop me. Yeah, you better run. What is that? Is that something I want? Hello, Valu. Yes, I know, you're having a very bad day. Silly me, I was here already. Yeah, my internet dropped, so uh, we're currently not streaming. Again, it doesn't affect those of you watching this on YouTube. Hello, VOD viewers. I appreciate you. Like and subscribe. being an item underneath this bridge. And this guy who likes to cut the bridge, except he's kind of an idiot today, so... Whoop! Is there a torch? Can I burn the bridge? It'd be a lot faster. Oh, I could farm this guy for joy pendants. You know what? 
That's a great idea. Because this doesn't cost me anything. I got health to spare. Uh oh. Okay, that one was on me. I won't go to the full 40, but 20 would be nice. Actually, I don't even need to, uh, I don't even need to damage myself. I can just leave and re-enter. Although the, uh, damage respawn is probably faster. This guy is not very good at staying on the bridge. So mean. Alright, that's fine. There will be plenty more moblins over the course of the game to rob. They, they really set it up so that they want you to, uh... They want you to have to destroy the bridge to get down there. No, I need your stick! Ah! I know I can just cut the bridge, but that takes so much, so much longer. Break. This is just the joy pendant room. This is the most joyful room in this entire game. Oh, this is just like the shortcut area. Which seems redundant given that we also already have the, uh... Oh, what? I survived that somehow. I thought lava was an instant KO. Uh. Can I can I get chat back? There it goes. Yeah, I went offline for a little bit. My internet connection dropped. Okay. Nothing big happened. I found a room with a bunch of joy pendants. Farmed a goblin. I, I specifically did the boring stuff while the stream was down. Oh, how do I do this? Oh. Oh, you know what? I'll bet the reason that this switch exists is to try to get you to, like, to look up at things that you can grapple in preparation for the boss fight. I still don't think it's very effective, because it's, like, the only switch like that in the game. You don't really think to look for them up there. And it wasn't obviously a switch. It was just, like, a thing that you would grapple to. So, logic logically, you would think, well, okay, there's a grapple point up there. Where can I, where do I go from there?
Alright, come here. Bizarre enemies. Man! Now is not the time to be finicky. Alright, boss key chest is a Triforce chart. Do I have the boss key? I don't remember if I do. No, I do. I don't have the dungeon map. Do I? The map's right there, so I must have it. Also, I seem to have missed a chest in this room. That must be a tingle chest. Yeah, it's a tingle chest because it's invisible. I'll get it. Just because, even though I know it's going to be junk. Just to show them off. So there's these invisible chests scattered all over the game that you would only be notified of by use of the Tingle Tuner with, you know, a, a Game Boy attached. Otherwise, they'll... You can also see them because they appear on the map with the compass. So had I included those in the randomization pool, I would need to... Uh, unless I memorized where every single one was, which I know where some of them are, but, uh, I would need to have the dungeon's compass to know for sure exactly where each one is. It's not that bad. It's just kind of annoying, so I opted not to do them. Well, now all that's left is the boss, so I just need to get back down there. Don't break, platform. I need you. Good. There's a bit of a confusing layout for a first dungeon in the game. Like, compare this to the Deku Tree. The Deku Tree was basically a tutorial. And the boss is even worse. This is... I wonder how many players just stopped playing this game at the first boss. Because without being able to ask somebody or look it up, the way to beat him is... pretty obtuse, honestly. Is there any water here? Oh no, there's the grappling. I was gonna say, otherwise I'd hook shot to one of the torches. I get two more chests with the dungeon map. Okay, so I didn't have the map, but I guess it just always shows in the bottom corner of the screen anyway. All right, treasure chart. Nothing good. Yes. Hello. Ow. He didn't like that.
No one looks up in video games. You don't want to expect someone to do that for the very first boss. Ow. Like, granted, you have to do that to initiate the Goma fight in Ocarina of Time, but, I mean, there's at least clues. There's noises. Specifically, the, uh, like, directional sound to guide your attention upwards. There's not other stuff going on in the room. You're not being attacked while you're looking up at the ceiling. Let me just complain all about vanilla Wind Waker's game design while I play a randomizer. Give me another! Oh, really? Okay, no, I'm fine. I'm in a cutscene, so I'm not gonna die even though I'm bouncing on the lava. Where am I gonna land? How's this gonna end? Okay, I just- I landed on the other side. Ganon's fine. No, he's back here again! How'd he do that? Alright, what's the item? Is this the ghost ship chart? Because that's the only chart that would be useful. No, it's the secret cave chart. Thanks, Goma. Let me exit through this uh, windy portal. Now, the ghost ship chart would be a uh, progression item. As it would, it would allow me at least one more check. That being the ghost ship, but uh, there's a few other random charts that will not be helpful to us. All right, Baito, are you here? I beat the cavern. You should be here now. No? Maybe if I leave the island and come back. I just got to give him time to stumble onto the shore. So we've checked more than half the checks in this game so far. That's reassuring. 123 locations checked, 30 accessible, 104 remaining. Six items needed to finish the game. Six items. I guess the pearls are needed? We have three stages of the sword. Two arrows. It must be some other thing I'm forgetting about. Baito! Where is he? How do I activate him? Why is this lazy fuck not coming to sort the mail? Alright, well... That will be a mystery to solve next time.
We'll just go ahead and end the stream on that, uh, that dungeon. We got stuff done. We got... Making good progress. This might only be another two streams? Probably jinxing it by saying that, as I always do. We'll see, though. We still need, uh... Well, as it said, six items left. We've got... We're more than halfway done. It just depends on how obnoxious the remaining checks are, because they're gonna start getting scarce from here on out. We gotta get all the spoils bags things. 20 joy pen or 40 joy pendants. Stuff like that. That's it for today. Thank you for watching, and I will probably see you next on Saturday or Sunday. Adios.